Okay, my friends, hello, good evening. Let's see if we can start uh, the class. Let's see who do we have here. Finally, we have the class number eight. Tenemos la clase número ocho. Y con eso, pues, ya nos vamos acercando. We are getting close to the midterm al medio curso. Solo nos quedan dos clases más y estaríamos a la mitad. So let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver a quién tenemos por acá para que podamos pues dar inicio. Sé que algunos están un poco cansados, algunos están llegando. Some of you are like arriving home, ya están llegando a casa. Así que tenemos el tema de ahora, how to use. It's not allowed. Okay, it's not allowed, que significa no está permitido. Okay. So when you want to say something about maybe some instructions, when you don't have, for example, you don't have permission, you, you don't have authorization to do something to enter a, to a specific place, you can use, it's not allowed, okay? So, Let's see if we have here maybe Evelyn. Tenemos a Evelyn por acá. You tell me yes or no, Evelyn. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you for answering. Thank you very much, Evelyn. What about if we have um, Eduardo? Eduardo Melendez, yes? Yes, teacher, here I am. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for answering. What about Maritza? Present. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, very nice. Good. Uh, what about if we have Daniel here? Yeah, teacher, I need. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Thank you. What about Guillermo? Are you there, Guillermo? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Very nice. I'm checking. If how many people uh, are like connected and how many people can answer. Thank you, Guillermo. Rivas, what about you? Are you over there? Present teacher, good evening. Very nice, good evening, thank you. What about John? Hi, good evening. Here, I am ready. Okay, A little very... tired, but I, I am know. ready for there. I know, ready. Ready Tuesday. It's kind of difficult, but here we are. Thank you, John. What about Andre? I guess you are there. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you, Andre. Good for you. Uh, what about Gustavo? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Thank you, Gustavo. Thank you. Okay, we have also uh, David. I don't know if David is there. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. Okay, um, let's see if we can start this. Uh, the topic is how to use it's not allowed. Before we start, I needed to uh, type or text in the chat. What year do you remember the most? Okay, what year do you remember the most? In my case, I consider that let me who. I may say 2004, okay? The, you text what is the year that you have like different memories or one memory, one anecdote that was the really important in your life, okay? I remember this year because I lived a lot of things. So you can text the year that you remember the boss or maybe it could be your favorite year. Please go.
Okay, let's check what are your answers. Eduardo says 2016, any special occasion, any special uh, event in that year, Eduardo? Yeah, in that year, it was be the year when I began to work in in the job what I have right oh, now. Now, okay, that's nice. So it means you have four, like seven years in there, right? Right. Perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. Very uh, excellent point. Uh, Rosalie, I guess she's kind of busy. Después te pregunto, Rosalie. What about Guillermo? Uh, 2019. Yes, teacher. Okay, any special event? Um, I think because uh, I lived a lot of special moments with my friend, with my family. I think mm, that is uh, the reason why I remember that year the okay. most. Okay, very nice. Yeah, you remember that year. And sometimes we have one year that it happened, not just one thing, but a lot of different events with family, friends, maybe girlfriend, if you have a a uh, couple, yeah, a lot of things. Thank you, uh, David. Uh, year, uh, two thousand twenty-two, last year. David, why mm -hmm. last year? Uh, I, hello, teacher. Uh, I remember the year twenty twenty-two because that uh, that year my daughter was born. Oh, really? One year. Okay. In December, December 12th. December 12th. Okay, nice. Good for you, David. Yeah. So this year she's going to, to, to be one, one year old, right? Good. Excellent. Congratulations, David. I like to hear those, those news. I like it. Thank you. Maritza, uh, 2019, you won the lottery? Yeah, no. No, no. Come on. Mm -hmm. What is the reason you remember 2019 or 2019? In that year, I graduated from the oh. university. Oh, really? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I guess that was the result of the, a lot of sacrifices that you have, right? Yeah. Time, money, effort. Yeah. Good for yeah. you. Congratulations, Marisa. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Rivas, 2013 or 2013. Why? In my case, in my case, teacher for my graduation from the university. Okay, a graduation. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Perfect. University. University. Okay. I had my graduation in one year before 2012. So, yeah, close. But good for you. I know that it is like a big, a big um, event in your life. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what about John? January 13th, uh, 2001. Yes, um, I remember the uh, the, the earthquake. Uh, earthquake, that's right. Yeah, yeah. This was it was terrible for the country. It was on Saturday, right? Um, I, I I guess it was Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. I don't remember, but I was at home. I know, remember, but for me, for but, it is terrible. Yeah. Okay, did you have uh well, I don't did, like it. okay uh, did some of your relatives or friends pass away in that earthquake? No. No, but you remember uh what happened. A, a lot of uh, people died, a lot of destruction in the house, and the, that earthquake was really long, like 
I don't know, in 40 seconds. I, uh, but but it, it was terrible. Yeah, I remember. But, uh, but um, they died. Um, some, some friends. Ah, okay. okay. So, yeah, that's why you you feel like sad when you remember that that uh, specific date. Okay, yeah. thank you, John. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. I was a teenager, I guess. But I, I remember everything. Yeah, it was terrible. Okay, yeah. thank you, John. Thank you for sharing. And Evelyn, uh, 2013, what about you? Evelyn? I don't know if you're there. Okay. If not, we go with Andre. Are you there to share? 2019, Andre? Yes, teacher. Okay, could you share? Uh, 2019, because in this year I had the opportunity uh, to come to El Salvador okay. or to work. Ah, yeah, you, you, you mentioned that you're from Colombia, right? Yes, teacher. So, wow, that year you, you began here, okay? Thank you, congratulations. You have like what, almost four years, I guess, mm -hmm. living here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, Oscar, Daniel, the same, uh, the same year, two thousand nineteen. Any special event? Yes, teacher. Uh, it is uh, for uh, for the bill. Of my daughter. Okay, the birth of your daughter. Okay, similar to 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 David, that he said that the last year, uh, his daughter was born. So yeah, similar. Thank you, Oscar. Daniel, two thousand six. Tell me why two thousand six, and then we go with Rosalie if she's available. Yeah. Um. Really, really, I don't remember what year it is, but when um. I remember when I lived in Zacate with my parents and we sold bread all, okay. all years. Okay, yeah. Well, that, that's like uh, a year that you have you, you keep in your mind. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Rosalie, I don't know if you are kind of busy because you mentioned, but if not, no problem, okay? We're going to continue. Yes, yes. Just okay. I'm here. Thank you. Okay, perfect. You tell me, mm -hmm. why do mm -hmm. you select it? Let's see what year. You said 2000. Yes, I mm -hmm. remember most because it's last year in the school, in mm -hmm. ninth, ninth grade. Oh, okay. And I say goodbye to my schoolmates and my school. This, how do you say, this preparatoria from high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hasta no <laughs> ah, no, no. I mean, fr yes. from from kindergarten to from ninth kindergarten grade. to to ninth grade. Yeah, a lot of in years. see ten years in. In the group, mm, sí, casi el mismo grupo. Um, and enjoy everything more in that stage of childhood in pre-adolescence. Adolescence. Mm -hmm. okay. Pre-adolescence, yes. Yes, well, let me tell you that it is not so common that because usually you you change school or you change the the grade i mean the section maybe in the morning or in the afternoon so it is not so common that the the same group remains 10 years together so when you when is the moment to say goodbye it is like yes. really hard it's difficult because you have lived a lot of years together right so i can imagine that okay Thank you for sharing, Rosalie. And well, we're, we're going to uh, continue here.
and click here. Okay. Here we have a conversation. Well, there's a, there's a question. It says, do you know where the different rooms are in your workplace? Tell a partner, I get it is not necessary to ask um, this question because since you, since the moment you work in that, in your company or in that company, it means that you, you know, where is the, the restroom, where are the main offices, the photocopy machine and so on. So we're not going to talk about it, but <clears throat> here we have a conversation between Walter and Mary. The conversation says, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about what, uh, about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time, walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to the red area, areas, okay? So maybe there are some words, I guess. Those are not difficult. Pleasure, introduce, safety, engineer, providing. Mm, yeah. Ear plugs between okay those are maybe the, the the not difficult but tricky words pleasure introduce safety providing between earplugs okay and we, we can have screenshots about this and then we're going to work in, in pairs Okay, my friends, let's see if we have the screenshot. See you in a moment. Thank you for sharing. Gracias por compartir, John and Maritza. See you in a moment. Okay, I will appreciate if you accept the request. Si aceptan la solicitud, please, my friends. Maybe Eduardo. Thank you very much.
Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends, and we're going to check this uh, conversation. I guess it's very important because we can notice some of the security or safety instructions. So in this case, uh, let's listen to some of you. Maybe we can have in this case, Eduardo, could you help me please with uh, your partner? Okay, teacher. Uh, David uh, fue mi, my partner. Okay, please. Go ahead. Hello. Inicio yo. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién inicia? David o Eduardo? David, David. Thank you, chef. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's, it's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello everybody, I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Thank you. Okay, and maybe we can listen, John, in this case. John, who was your classmate? Thank you, David. Okay. And... With the practice with Rosalie. Okay, Rosalie, please. And John. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new food safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear two earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, uh, very nice. We're going to check this. If you notice, um, here we have uh, the safety instructions. Wear a helmet all the time, walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. Okay, now that we have this, look. And here we have a strange map. I said strange because it is difficult to notice the letters in this part of the map okay and um, here is different uh, from from i don't know it's like difficult a here we have maybe b c d e i guess this is f g h i Okay, we can notice production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restrooms, exit, and parking. And this depends on different companies, right? Because most of the companies, if they have parking, they have restrooms, they have manager office, uh, reception, production, maybe some other have auditor office, maybe, okay, maybe not. So here we have this, we're going to use this later. Now, here we have the first question. What is the best age to be? Do you remember your best year? Okay, Um. what is the best age? ¿Cuál es la mejor edad para vivir, para tenerlo? Okay, you tell me, uh, maybe Rosalie can start. And then John, you tell me, uh, I know that we were talking about a specific year because one thing, but maybe was that age or a different age that you remember? Um, 
I think uh, the best age uh, to be um, in uh, 20 years. 20 to, years. Uh, 20 years to 30, 30 years. Okay, that period of time. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, 20 years to 30. Okay, I guess you can leave a lot of things from in 10 years, right? Yeah, why not? Thank you. What about John and then David? John, do you have a specific year, age? Um, 25. I think that at 35 for me is the best age. 35? Yes. And uh, do you consider you can take better decisions or you have more experience in some aspects of the life? Mm. No, not necessary. Mm. Not necessary. Okay. 35. It could it be? Thank you. David, and then we go with Guillermo. Okay, David, you tell me. Where is the no, best age? Uh, Hello. No, uh, in my opinion, the best age the best age to live is young. Uh, you, be, you begin, you begin to know the world and learn from mistakes. Okay, yeah, of course, it is something uh, very important in the life. Learn from the errors or mistakes that we have because we are human beings. Thank you. Okay, good uh, aspect. Uh, what about Guillermo? Guillermo, do you have a specific age to be? Mm, I think around 15 years. 15 years, maybe because you have a lot of energy or you are be because you are young or something like that? Mm, because you have uh, more opportunities to do the right things, to have a better future in all the aspects of your life. Mm -hmm. I, I guess. Mean, but but it's mm -hmm. important that you follow the, how do you say, um, consejos? Uh, advice. Uh, advice yes you have to follow the advice of the other people and the older people that are around of you mm -hmm. definitely in that period of time and commonly maybe we don't follow the advice right no sometimes yes sometimes not but if you could go back in time imagine and take better decisions, that is a good age, right? A good age to start having good decisions and for the future, right, Guillermo? Okay. 15. Thank you. Sounds really good. Maybe we can have Marita. I think uh, 16 years. Mm -hmm. Any because... special reason? Yeah. Because there are no worries. Okay, there are no worries. Sin preocupación. No, like Hakuna Matata. Yes, mm -hmm. it is like when you are like just relaxing, you go to the school, you go to study, go back and yeah. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> no worries. You don't have to pay taxes. You don't have to pay uh, different loans, préstamos, yeah. yeah, of course, okay. or debts, no hay deudas, yeah. Okay, thank you, Maritza. And we're going to have maybe in this case in, we can have Oscar, Daniel, I don't know if Oscar is available. If Oscar is not there, maybe we can have Andre Pardo. And then Daniel. Okay, Andre not here. Maybe Daniel. 
Do you have any any good age? Oh. What is the best age to be? Yeah. Um maybe I can say that I have nothing nothing to say about that. I I have memory I have many memory but I know in particular. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, you don't have one in particular. Okay. But you consider that, yeah, that's a, a good period of time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Daniel. Uh, Andre, uh, are you ready to, to share your opinion about this, please? Yeah. In my mm -hmm. opinion, the best age, I think, between 15 and 25. Okay, like 10 years, right? That period of time between no. 15 and 25. Yeah. Yes. Okay, nice. So what I mean is that you have that period of time, 10 years starting 15 and 25. Okay, that could it be as well. Thank you. And we're going to finish uh, this uh, with Evelyn. Okay, and when you are small with without worries of panicking from 10 to 12 weeks. <laughs> yeah, that, that's because you are like a kid, right? And you don't yeah. have to worry about anything. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, let's move now. I will show you something. We're going to continue later. Okay. Let me check this. Okay. This is something that we're going to use. Look at this. You are, uh, well, here have this vocabulary, go straight, vete derecho, go straight, turn left or turn right, gira la derecha eh, o a la izquierda, turn left, izquierda, turn right, derecha. Uh, remember that in the uh, headphones or earphones, in los audífonos, we have two letters, letter R and letter L. Letter R is for right and letter L is for left. So you have to use your headphones or earphones or headset in the correct place, right? You can say walk 10 meters or walk through the production area. We're going to use this vocabulary. Mm, I guess uh, this is not maybe a specific activity to do, because we're the restroom, we're the quality control, we're the manager office. We're going to use this in a couple of uh, seconds, but in different way. Okay. And here we have this. Okay. And it says, a group of visitors is coming to Rex facilities. Explain to them to the basic rules and safety instructions for visitors in a courteous way. Okay. In this case, here we have safety instructions. And in this case, okay, I'm going to give you a key. You should. You need to please Okay. Look at this. We're going to use this. You should, you need to, please, or don't forget. Um we're going to use one some of these phrases. For this, remember, we have a group of visitors in your company and you need or you have to explain safety instructions in courteous way, polite, 
de manera amable. Because if you say, wear the helmet, si le dicen, usa el casco, uh, for a group of visitors, it is not, it is not a good idea. You have to be polite. Hay que ser amables. So, for that reason, you can use, you should, you need to, please, or don't forget. You utilize cualquiera de estas frases, okay? We're going to start with David and then Guillermo. Okay, David, select one of these phrases and one of these, and we're going to write them here. Sí. Usa una de estas y luego una de estas. O sea, estas son las instrucciones, pero esto hace más suave la indicación. Uh -huh. La hace como sí. más amable. Ok, eh, you should, casi no veo, pero voy a empezar un poquito aquí. You should wear a helmet all okay. the time. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Ok, Guillermo, what about you? And then we go with Rosalí. Okay. Um, uh, you should wear industrial boots. Okay. Uh, Rosalí and John. Um, please don't touch any machine. Okay. That's very polite. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, John, and then Gustavo. Okay, let me see. Oh. You need to wear the earplugs all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Gustavo? Okay, okay, teacher. Please do. Don't get close to red variant. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. And I need we have the maybe we can have uh Rivas in this case. Could you help me with the last one? Walk between the yellow lines. Do you have another form yeah. to explain that? Please walk between the yellow lines. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please walk between the yellow lines. Thank you. So if you notice, uh, these are commands like instructions. And if you belong to the company, of course, you're going to understand that because you live that day by day. But if you are a visitor, if you don't work in that company and you listen these instructions uh, pol in polite way, de manera amable, es más agradable y no se escucha muy pesado. So we can do this when you're going to give instructions in your workplace. Okay, I need you imagine, imagine you have um, visitors in your company. Tienen visitantes en su compañía. Algunos, uh, sí, pasan a ver. ¿Cuál podría ser? Which could be one of the safety instructions? ¿Cuál podría ser una de las eh, indicaciones de seguridad que ustedes, you may say to, that, to those visitors? 
no se acerquen a algunas máquinas, eh, deben de ser cuidadosos con algún tipo de personal, con algunos químicos, uh, no se acerquen, ¿verdad? Get close es acercarse, no se acerquen a cierta área, no se acerquen a donde están contando el dinero, I don't know. Depends on you. Mention one, just one, one safety instruction that could be part of your company. Imagine you have a group of seven visitors, siete visitantes, yeah. What could it be one of the instructions that you could say if you were in church, if you estuvieran a cargo, only one. I need you to do it in the chat and we're going to read it, okay? You can use, you should, you need to, please, don't forget, And if you have some other way to say it, si tienen otra manera para decirlo, please, go ahead. Feel free to do it. Voy a estar esperando sus respuestas. Just one instruction in the chat. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Maybe we can have Daniel and then David. Okay, uh, Daniel, please you tell me one destruction that you may say to the visitors in your company. Okay, the intrusion is... Um, uh, give me one minute, please. Please, we're a helmet all the time. Yeah, I imagine it could be dangerous. So, helmet is important. Thank you. David and then Guillermo. Teacher, please do not separate from the visitor. Yeah, and some that's something that happens. People say, I want to go to the restroom, I want to go to the bathroom, I want to drink coffee, water, blah, blah, blah. And then 
uh, it is important to do not separate. Thank you, David. Guillermo and Rivas. Okay, and you should follow the instruction of the guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I know you have noticed that people in general, they have problems following the instruction. Most of people. Uh, Rivas and John. Please wear a mask, safety shoes, and harness. Okay, yeah, very important. Nowadays, it is more common to, to wear a mask, but in the past, it was just for for uh, to avoid chemicals or for, because of the small, but that's it. Thank you, uh, Rivas, John, and Eduardo. Okay, um, please, please always wear your visitor's badge. Yeah, the badge is very, but very fundamental. Um, in the company, sometimes it is not so common because people say, ah, I, I work here. Or visitors say, ah, that doesn't matter. But yeah, it, it is important even to avoid problems with the guards or with, with some other employees. Thank you. Uh, Eduardo and then Rosalie. Please center by the reception always. Mm -hmm. Always in the same entrance. Yeah. And that helps uh, to monitor people uh, entering in that in, in every company. Thank you. Rosalie and Christy. Okay. You need to wear a hat and overcoat at all times in the production plant. The, the production plant or the production area, usually it's kind of dangerous because of substances, chemicals, a lot of things. Yeah, thank you. Christy, are you there? And then Maritza. Okay, maybe we don't have Christy, Maritza, and then Evelyn. Please don't go near the Donald area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we have uh, some warehouse, especially there are a lot of products, boxes, or something that is heavy. It is yeah. better not to go near there. And Evelyn, are you there? Please always wear a mask. Mm -hmm. Always wear a mask. Okay. Thank you. Well, uh, we're going to continue with the speaking activity. It is like this. What is the best age to be? Do you remember your best year? Maybe we can listen in this time. Two, let me check who else, Rivas, and then, yeah, Christy. Okay, Rivas. Okay, teacher, in my opinion, adolescents around 16 and 18 years old because it is time to finish school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. And uh, you have like a big change. Hay un gran cambio. There's a big change when you finish school and you go and meet uh, some other people. Yeah, it uh, it takes part of changes in your life. Thank you. I don't know if Christy is there. Okay, if Christy is not here, maybe we can listen to Gustavo and then Oscar. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, there is a specific agent. Life should always be enjoyed, no matter how difficult it might seem. Mm -hmm. Okay. So good point because maybe there's no perfect age, right? Life uh, is different for everybody. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, Susie, I guess uh, she's not available, right? So Oscar, Oscar, I don't know if Oscar Daniel is available. Okay. If not, uh, we continue and we're going to have a uh, working pairs. Vamos a trabajar en equipo. Eso va a ser sencillo. Okay. 
Look at this. And here we have a group work. Make groups of four well memorize the safety instructions and take turns telling them. We have to uh, put these uh, instructions in order, okay? We have from one to 10, okay? So I need you to discuss, have a conversation about this. What do you consider is the first one? Because here this says locate an evacuation route or maybe say calm or maybe can be get close to the fire, I don't know. Um, here we have this. If you consider that there is a change in this, eh, si consideran que aquí hay um, una forma diferente de, de hacer esta indicación, pues okay, do it, no problem, right? And then we're going to compare the order. I guess that you're going to have uh, almost the same order. Maybe we can have a screenshot of this and we're going to work. Vamos a tratar de ordenar de acuerdo a nuestra lógica, como consideran. Okay. Si ustedes consideran que hay alguna indicación de esas que pueden eliminar, ok, no problem, do it. Si ustedes consideran que no tendré que ir a alguna de estas indicaciones, pues adelante. Maybe John or Maritza. Thank you, Maritza. Ok, my friends. Please accept the request and see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, maybe Guillermo can accept the request. And let's see. And the rest as well. No, I'm sorry.
Okay, my friends, let's see what you have. If you have a different order or not, I remember that we were uh, we worked in pairs. So maybe we can start with uh, John and Maritza. And maybe you have a different order. If you have a different order, please uh, tell me what uh, do you think? Well, I guess Maritza and John is not here. Well, they are not here by now. Okay, yeah. Here we are. Okay. Mm, maybe uh, Maritza and John can hear what you got. Do you have a different order for this, Maritza and John? Did you? I don't know if did you omit? Hello. Hello. Hola, hola. Si me escuchan? Hello. Yes. Thank you. Uh, do you have a different order from this? Uh, did you omit one of these? Omitieron alguno? Yes. Okay. Could you tell me, please, uh, the order that you have? Number one, if mm -hmm. they kept calm. Okay. Number oh. two, number two, call the fire department. Mm -hmm. Number three, follow instruction from the rescue team. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Number four, let me see. So number four, locate an evacuation road. Mm -hmm. And number five, go to the meeting point. Okay, those uh, could be the 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 main instructions, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and the rest one do you consider not? Okay, perfect. Yeah, it it makes sense. It makes sense. Thank you. And we go now with the next team that is Evelyn, Guillermo, and Gustavo. Okay, what about you? Do you have a different order from this and the one that we can see now? Uh, did you omit or yeah, or delete? Okay, teacher. Then, mm -hmm. uh, number one, a side car. Okay. Number two, locate an evacuation route. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Number three, call the fire department. Okay. Um, Num number four, follow the instruction from the rescue team. Okay. Number five, uh, go to the meeting point. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Okay, these are the main, right? Uh, the rest you consider that not okay, not so so important, or maybe uh, they are not good for uh, saving people. Thank you. I like it. Uh, if you notice, you are in the same uh, sense. There are some changes, but it's okay. Thank you, uh, David and Eduardo. What about you? Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, we think the in the following order mm -hmm. uh, number one stay calm okay uh, number two locate an evacuation route okay number three use any fire extinctor okay number four call the fire department mm -hmm. Number five, follow instruction from the rescue team. Nice. And number six, uh, go to the meeting point. Okay, yeah. Good. Good for you. Yeah, I like it. That sounds like really nice. Okay. Uh, uh, 
let's listen to the others. Let's see who else. Rivas and Daniel. What about you? Teacher, uh, of the same order and omit uh, number uh, four. Mm -hmm. number Any five, other? Number five. five, number eight, and number ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and the rest of these, you consider that these orders can work? But these four options, not right. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. And maybe Rosalie is the last group. Uh, Rosalie, you were with Oscar, right? Yes, teacher, because I mm, no <laughs> only only me. Ah, only you. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Es que eh, la primera vez que me llamó, lo acepté, pero me sacó de la reunión, I'm del todo. Mm, sí, entonces cuando volví a entrar, me tocó con, creo que está de oyente el, y eh, de el compañero. Okay. Y Vico, pero este bat is it same the Rivas. Rivas eh, order. Yes. Ok, that's it, ok. Nice, thank you, uh, Rosalie. Uh, if you notice, here we have some instructions. Some of them cannot be applied for the, like a general instruction. Okay. And uh, let's see if we have this. What's the name of the song? Vamos a ver si vamos con esta actividad. Y este me parece que John, a ti te toca, te toca ¿verdad, John? What's yes. The name of the Recuerda que no podemos poner música, John. Solo si quieres que... <risa> Lástima. No, no van okay. a banear el video. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Give me, give me a few minutes to... Okay, prepare no problem. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to give you some, some time para que te prepares. One Mientras... minute, one minute. Ok, no problem. Mientras tanto, comentarles que vamos a utilizar esta. Vamos a utilizar... Este vocabulario, si quieren, pueden... Te... Quiero ver... Solo voy a agregar uno más. Ok, si gustan, pueden tomarle captura a esto. Eh... Estos son algunos de, de, de este vocabulario lo vamos a utilizar porque tengo un mapa. I have a map of a city. So you can give instructions because these instructions are mainly for a, a building, the workplace, a company, but uh, this can be applied for a city or a yeah, neighborhood. So we're going to use go straight turn left, turn right, walk 10 meters, walk through the production area, walk uh, two blocks, walk down Main Street, okay? So that could it be. Okay, teacher, I am ready. Okay, I'm not going to share. Okay, please. And uh, let's see, I'm going to check this. No tengo permiso, teacher. Yeah, now. Now you can do it. Okay. Let me see. Okay. 
Teacher, the presentation is seen. Yeah, we can see the presentation. We can see the lyrics. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Please. Okay. Well, I try. I try. Will I try to sing? Okay. I'm not good at uh, singing. Come on. But it's but it's my way practicing. Don't be modest. English. Okay. 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 When your day is low and the night is nice, you're so low. What? Yes, okay, I'm sorry. Activate the, the sound, please. Okay, nice. Okay. And the night. It's, Continue. It's just you had an of this life. Well, how Don't let yourself go. That's everybody cries. Everybody hurts sometimes. Sometimes everything is wrong. Now it's time to sing alone. Finish t-shirt. Wow, clubs for you, my friend. Yeah. Really nice. Okay. You want to play the guitar, right? Really good. Uh, yeah. Okay, congratulations. Sounds well, really good. It is like, let me tell you. David, do you know the, the name of this song? Or no. No, you don't know. I don't know the song name. Okay. Uh, Rosalie, what about you? I don't know. Okay. It is kind of famous. It, it, it is a famous song. Okay. I guess it's everybody hearts, right? John? Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't remember the name of the band or the singer. I just know the, the name of the, the song, Everybody Hearts, I guess. Yes. Okay. I don't know. It's... Rem. Ah, Rem, yeah. The same of yeah. Losing My Religion, right? Yes. The same. Yeah, the same band. Okay, good. Thank you. Please. Please. Rem, R-E-M. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rem. Uh, mm. Yeah, the same of Losing My Religion. It, it it's a uh, a very famous band. Mm -hmm. R E M R A M, yeah, Ram. Okay, uh, John. Okay, mm -hmm. could could you mention one of the words that you identify okay, here? The word. Okay, long is adjectives. Okay. Long is adjective. Um, N. N. Um, Ken Jochung. Mm -hmm. King Jong Chung, um, yours, yours is a passive adjective. Okay, yes. And, well, let me see. Yours is passive. No, sorry, sorry. Your, your is a passive adjective. Yours. Yours is a possessive pronoun. Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns. And let me see. You sure? Um, I think so. It's present simple. 
um, you you had enough is um, present perfect. Yes. You have enough present perfect. Um, of is a preposition. Of okay. is a preposition. And hang, hang is a irregular verb. Yes. Irregular verb. Uh, yourself is a reflexes reflexes pronoun. Ah, reflexive. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, it's a adverb frequency. Frequency. Okay, finish. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well done, John. Congratulations. It was really nice to have well, the, this uh, song. I guess, uh, yeah, some of us know this uh, song because it's like kind of famous. But I consider that this is one of these songs that maybe we don't know by the name, but we have like a, an idea about it. Thank you, John. Congratulations and for tomorrow. Thank you. We can have Maritza. Could you do it? Oh, no, 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 no. David. No sé si ya pasaste, David. Creo que no, ¿verdad? No, no, sé no he pasado ¿Ah? todavía. No he pasado todavía. ¿Podrías? No necesariamente tienes que cantarla, ¿verdad? Simplemente, eh, así como lo hemos comentado, puedes eh, leerla. Nada más, ¿verdad? John, <risa> okay, porque es chévere. artista. <risa> yeah. Congratulations. No, no. Okay. Congratulations, John. Thank yeah, thank, thank you, John. Yeah, really, really good one. Okay, uh, David. So to, for tomorrow, you can work. Uh, you can prepare uh, the uh, any song as uh, just select one part of the song. Can be the the main uh, chorus. Can be uh, the I don't know the first part, second part of the song. No problem. Okay. No problem, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, 18 minutes, 18 minutes y terminamos. Okay, look at this. Vocabulary, go straight, uh, turn left, turn right, walk 10 meters, walk uh, through. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to present this map. Look at this. This is a very simple map. And I'm going, here we have this. I need you to notice. Pine Street, la calle Pine. First Avenue, Primera Avenida. Second Avenue. Uh, if you notice, here we have high school, grocery store, library, hospital, shopping center. Here we have bank, drugstore, barber shop, sports center, cafe, and here we have bar. Um, let's imagine that I am here. Let's see if I can, okay, this is my, this is a person, okay, so you try, you try to move this person to a different uh, place. I need you to select one of the places, for example, you say barbershop, and you can use a uh, walk uh, down Pine Street and turn left, turn right, uh, walk one block or two blocks. Okay, we're going to do it uh, with uh, well, with some volunteers, but first, maybe we can have uh, some of you. You have to select the place, seleccionen cualquiera de esos lugares y me dicen las indicaciones. Okay, vamos a ver quién se anima primero. Here is the starting point. Punto de partida, okay? We can go to this side or we can go to this side or to this side, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Oh, well, Daniel, you're ready. And then John, okay, Daniel, what is the, what, what, what is the, the place that you select? Okay, uh, starting the first, Avenue, 
and go straight, turn right in uh, Pain Street. Okay. And, and go to the one block. Okay. And turn left. Turn left, okay. And sports uh, center. And yeah, you are in the sports center. Thank you. Okay, John and Rosalie. Okay, John, what is your place? Okay, um, bar. Okay, let's go to the bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, go straight ahead one block. Yeah. Then um to to right. Mm -hmm. uh, go straight one block. Okay. Then go straight one. Uh, sorry, go straight two block. Okay. Yeah, two blocks here, right? Okay. Um, is go is is um it's next to the export center. Okay. Or, oh, thank no, you. Yes. In front, in front of oh yeah, in export front. center. Here we have the bar. Thank you. Definitely we are there. Thank you. Rosalie, please. Yes. Is in the point Duxture. Mm -hmm. Cross cross the street. Okay. And turn right. Mm -hmm. And turn right and walk and the next shopping center. Okay, next to the shopping next center. To, next to the shopping center. Next to the shopping center. Here we have the drugstore. Thank you. And maybe we can have this, maybe um, Gustavo or Eduardo. You tell me if you have a specific place, Gustavo or Eduardo. Oh, here we have Oscar, Daniel. Okay, Oscar. What place? Teacher, Gustavo knows, is this not, it's not here. Okay, Gustavo is not here. Okay. Okay, okay uh, I comment on. Okay, Eduardo, uh, okay. you are, uh, are you ready? Uh, yes, uh, to the hospital. Okay, please. Okay, and the first avenue uh, to go to the Pine Street mm -hmm. and across to the library. Turn to the left. left. Yeah. And here you are in the hospital. Just thank you, Lord. Well done. Oscar, uh, and after Oscar, we can have Rivas. Okay, please. Uh, uh, go ahead. Go. Go uh -huh. uh, right. Okay. Go ahead, one, one block. Okay. Uh, across the street. Across the street. Mm -hmm. In front of the... In front the... No, it's not. Okay. Uh, to the cafe. Mm, no. To the cafe. No. Uh, Sorry, the barber shop. Okay, barber yeah. Shop. Then turn left. Uh, turn left in front of the drugstore. Barber shop. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Barber shop taken. And let's listen now. Maybe we can have uh, Rivas and Maritza. Okay, Rivas. Do you have uh, anyone? Okay, teacher. Go stray in First Avenue. Mm -hmm. And turn left, there is the school. Okay, first avenue and turn left. There is the school. Thank you. Uh, Maritza, what about you? Uh, library. Okay, library. Let's, library, please. 
go straight, go straight eh, across Pin Street mm -hmm. in the corner. Turn okay. right. Turn right. And there is library. Okay. Thank you. I guess here we have this. Uh, Guillermo, I don't know if you are there. Yes, it's sure. Okay, could you tell me the way to the cafe? The cafe, let me see. Okay, the cafe. First, you have to uh, down the street for First Avenue. Mm -hmm. Then you turn to the right. Okay. Uh, you have to go. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice seguir recto? Go straight or go walk straight. Down. Go straight. Uh, go straight in Pine Street. Then you cross the street and in the corner, in the right corner you will see the the cafe yeah in the, in the right corner there is the cafe thank you okay and we're going to move to the last activity that we have ah no maritza no maritza ya, ya me dijo verdad okay <laughs> library yes es la que me dijiste verdad library yeah no that's another but we don't have too much time okay nine minutes well eight minutes ocho minutos y terminamos Talk about the best and the worst things about English. We're going to do this, but I need you to do it in the chat, okay? For example, good. Um, can say, for example, um, learn. Should it be like this? Un aspecto positivo y uno negativo. Good, learn a new culture. Eso es algo bueno que trae el inglés. Y algo negativo es few practice, que es poca práctica que pueden tener ustedes. Okay? Let's do it this. If you consider eh, lo mejor, o en lugar de good, pueden poner best, ¿verdad? Y en lugar de bad, pueden poner worst, lo mejor y lo peor del inglés. Quickly text it, uh, the idea that you have. We have like seven minutes. Ya solo tenemos siete minutos para terminar the last activity. Última actividad y terminamos.
Okay, my friends, we're about to finish. Uh, just read this and we say goodbye. Okay. Okay, André, espero que puedas, eh, sí, ve, ve, ve al hospital antes que eso se empeore, ¿verdad? La salud es primero, okay? Health is first, thank you. Eh, Daniel, please, Daniel, and then Rosalie. Okay, the bad thing is that more opportunity you work and the work for me does not have. Thank you. Words for me does not have. Okay, thank you. Rosalie and Evelyn. The best open the door open doors, the best word in bad in pronunciation is hard for me. Okay, yeah, that's a personal opinion. Pronunciation is hard for you, yeah. But you can have more opportunities, right? Thank you, Evelyn and then Rivas. Do, do. Mm. Fun, but bad, you say but... complicated. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Rivas and then John. Okay, Rivas. Okay, who is the language more used? Words in case no practice is more difficult. Mm, yeah, it, practice is the basis. So important. John and then Maritza, please. Okay, the positive is opening new doors for a better job and a second language to communicate. The bad things about not having a rule is learning the irregular verbs. Yeah, that could be irregular verbs. It's like kind of complicated related to grammar. Thank you, John. Very specific. Maritza and Guillermo. Best. Other job opportunities, word, uh, the pronunciation is complicated. Yeah, because there are some words that are similar and there are some others that are very different. Sometimes mm -hmm. there is no pattern. Guillermo and David. Okay, uh, for me, the good things are more job opportunities and learn new things and understand and talk with other person and uh, the worst thing is the pronunciation sometimes it's difficult mm -hmm. definitely it is. thank you david and then eduardo okay positive or good english enable uh, me to be able to interact uh, with another nation Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay, do you have negative point? Mm, difficult pronunciation. <laughs> okay, pronunciation is difficult. Yeah, I understand. Thank you. Eduardo. And Gustavo. The good learn many new topics and the bad few pronunciation. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Gustavo and Oscar. Okay, teacher. The best thing about the studying English, English is there are more opportunities in the workplace. Mm -hmm. The best thing about the studying English is that it is difficult to learn. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Oscar Daniel, and we finish. Okay. Well, Oscar says the best now people, new people and new culture. Uh, but some topics are difficult. Okay. Adi, the best opportunity to learn a new language, but grammar is difficult. Yeah, I know it's kind of difficult. Okay, my friends, I we say goodbye. Déjeme siempre thumb up, pulgar arriba, reviso entonces eso en el chat. Y eso sirve como siempre, as always, to check the attendance list. Y así ahorramos tiempo para no quitarles mayor y que puedan descansar, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. David is going to present the song for tomorrow. So, have a good night, my good friends. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, my friends.